couple of tough games against the Badgers, both physically, and then you know, up there crabbing them off like they're going to depression. And granted, I got a concussion, if I'm not correct. You know, I had one point up there, and by his own admission, didn't get to play very well against Taylor. Right. He may have been the difference maker tonight, getting in that, especially that one stretch of the second half. Let's talk about his contributions tonight. Yeah, well, I thought he did a good job. Um, obviously, Jordan Taylor had a good game, but he didn't have, you know, that, that big time game where he scores 30 and just, you know, dominates um, the game. And um, I thought he did a, a solid job on him. We tried to put some different people on him, but offensively, I thought he made good decisions the whole night. Obviously, as a team, we only had four turnovers. Um, Lou didn't have any, um, you know, and so his ability to make good decisions and his ability to make that pull up puts him in a bind. And when you have each one and Jawan involved in that, and they're worried about them, and then he's not, you know, only making shots; he's making good decisions. Um, and and that was the difference in, in that one little stretch right there was his ability to get to the basket, and make a couple of those pull-ups. Coach Ryan just told us that he, he was, you know, to Lewis's credit to his team, his credit. He didn't like the way they let him get to the basket. I mean, that was right. a lot of loot. Yeah, he, you know, Lou does a good job of kind of hesitating at times and making you make a decision defensively through the pick and roll defense. And then he just, if you back up off him or you release to go get one of those other guys, he will get to the basket. And at times they switch, and at times they just stay flat and held. And when they switch, he just tried to create for his teammates or get to the rim. What did you tell your team, or just how did you look at this week and what it could potentially mean for the season? Yeah, well, we just, you know, try to prepare for Wisconsin. And, um, you know, we tried to correct some things that we thought um, we made mistakes uh, in Madison. Um, we had 10 turnovers in the first half at Wisconsin, and we had four for the game today, so I thought we did a better job there. And um, I thought from a rebounding standpoint, we had a couple of good stretches, but for the most part, they beat us on the glass. But I, I thought the difference was our decision making and, uh, you know, really just trying to, you know, pound that into their heads. We have to give ourselves a chance by taking care of the basketball and not worried about the whole week. You know, Wisconsin's one of the best teams in the country. Um, you know, they're enough and just worried about them. And then tomorrow, I'll take a day off and then just try to prepare, you know, for Sunday's game. And after you, had, you, know, you had that 13 point lead, they come back. 58-56, yeah. and I think uh, he like scored five yes. points. But that stretch there where the game's in the balance, talk about what you guys did well. Well, obviously, getting to 13, you like to push the game out. But, you know, they're just too good of a team. They're not going to – you know they're going to make another run um, at you there. And we let a couple guys get loose, but to their credit, they made good plays. And, um, you know, I thought each one's runner there was a big basket for us. Um, we got some ball screen action there, and each one made that big three. And, uh, you know, that was a huge basket. Then we made our free throws down the stretch. And uh, <coughs> especially Lewis. You know, Lewis really coming into his own. And as a point guard, that's what you have to do. you got to take care of the basketball. And you got to make, you know, make your free throws first and foremost. Matt, um, <laughs> Etoine made those two big shots for you tonight. Made a couple of big shots for you at the game of Champagne um, when you guys were closing game one. Can you just kind of talk about him in general in terms of him being a guy you kind of want the longest hands in this situation? Yeah, it's you know very similar to Lewis. You know, you you know each one's going to score obviously more than Lewis, but you want him to make the right decision. Um, not necessarily saying take the game over and score the basketball. Um, in those situations, just read the defense. You know, make the right play. And I've always said this about him. You know, when he lets the game come to him, you know he's one of the best guards in the country. Coach, touch a little more on the development of Lewis over the course of the right. season, where he started, where he's come out. Yeah, well, it's, it's very demanding how we um, defend, and he has to go up and guard the basketball, and it takes a lot out of you. Um, I think when he first got here, he was a guy that could get to the rim, um, and he could pressure the basketball. Um, really didn't have a consistent shot, um, wasn't a very good free throw shooter, and he's really worked at his pull up. Um, I think he's now six for eight in Big Ten play from three, so if you leave him wide open, he'll knock it down. Uh, but his decision making is just so much better than it used to be. He just lets things come to him, um, and he's just more comfortable out there on the court. It does help we have a couple other guys that can come in and relieve him also at that position in Tyrone Johnson and Kelsey Barlow. Coach, I know you want to enjoy this win, but how much does that 23 point defeat? Uh, Ohio State, Marcus still you do, right. knowing that they're coming out next. Well, I think it, you know, it lies in our performance on Sunday. You know, talking about it is really not that big of a deal. And, um, you know, it was probably more than, it was more than 23 points. It's, it's the way it ended up. Um, but, they, you know, they had us down by 30 for most of the game as they, they continued to push it out. But, um, you know, we got to do a better job of competing. I think that's the only game this year where I felt um, we just didn't compete. 
and uh, had nothing to do with X's and O's, and um, they just simply stole our spirit. And so we got to, you know, we got to go out first and foremost, and just you know, lay it on the line and do a better job of competing and just kind of making some hustle plays to get going. Now, I feel like you defended the three-point line better tonight, or you, you know, it, yeah. you know, John Lure is a tough matchup. And obviously, he's, he's had a couple of good games against us. And obviously, we watch tape and we, we understand that. Um, you still have to be able to go out there and do it. We wanted to knock them out of rhythm on their threes. And we wanted to rotate to them. And, you know, Nankaville's had huge games against us shooting the perimeter shot. And so that's what we were trying to do. They were doing a good job of getting by us and doing a good job of getting the ball inside um, a little bit more than we'd like to do, but I'd uh, like to, you know, see happen. But. Um, for the most part, I thought we did a good job, but there was, you know, three or four shots they had were just open looks. They just missed, and then sometimes it's, you know, kind of your night. It's not their night in terms of perimeter shooting. You talk about the shot clock violations. Yeah. To take a team that's probably the most efficient, you know, if you look at the stats, the most efficient team in the nation, points per right. session. Get three shot clock violations. Yeah. Uh, how was that for your defense? It, it was great for our defense. I thought Travis Carroll did a good job on a couple of them. Um, it really gave us a boost there in the first half. Um, you know, Jordan Taylor is very crafty, and he'll get you at the end, and you think he's got to shoot it, and he'll still have a second wheel pump fake, then get into you and draw that foul. And the one time that's what he tried to do, and we stayed on our feet. Then the other time, the ball got out of a playmaker's hands, and they had it with the bigs' hands, and they had to chuck one. Um, and, and so I, I thought our guys did a good job. Um, of staying down and, and showing some discipline, and then they would kind of use some momentum um, to keep going. I, I thought we had a chance to push the game out a little bit in the first half, and we weren't able to do it. Coach, you always talk about playing your best basketball at the end of the season. Where do you think your team is at this point? Are you getting there? Are you playing better on the court? Well, obviously, since our you know our, our lopsided defeat in Columbus, I think we've made some improvements. Um, we, we, we've played harder. We've had some games in there where we've done a great job on the glass. Then we've had some games in there where uh, we've done a good job of taking care of the basketball like today. And so I, I think we're going to have to have that balance uh, to be able to beat elite teams as we move on. Um, you're going to have to be able to take care of it and rebound the ball. But we've made improvements in both areas. we just got to piece it together and kind of have that complete game. Um, and then we've had some games where we really shot the ball well. I thought Illinois in that second half scoring 54 points. It, I think that gives our guys some confidence uh, that we can put some points on the board. Go ahead. Which one goes for 20-10 against the top 15? Yeah, I mean this was a, this was a good game for him. This wasn't a great game um, for him. He, you know, he's he's proven he's an All-American just through his consistency. You know, night in, night out. You know, that's what he does, and he hasn't um, rebounded quite like I think he can. Um, but he has improved since you know last year. Um, but but he's a guy that's always a threat, and I think he's really opened up some things. You know, for our other players, and I think that's. Um, something I always talked about, Rob, um, as a player, he makes other people better. And I think that's, that's also an element of Juwan's game now where he's making his teammates better. And um, that, that's what you want, you know, from a guy that's, you know, you look up and say, oh, he's all right. You know, he had 20 and 10. You know, it's, it just shows you what, you know, what he's developed into. You have to give him a lot of credit. Matt, how much, how much easier was it? I, you probably wouldn't say it was easy, but. Um, we were being on the bench there at the, uh, the last couple minutes of the second half. You guys were able to make a little bit of a run there. I imagine that was a coincidence. Yeah, the first half? Yeah. yeah the first half. No, no, doubt, no doubt it's a coincidence because he's a guy, um, you know, they're going to go to, especially when we play smaller. And any time a guy like that can be out and, um, you know, and not on the court, he's just one less weapon. Um, but they're, they're guys. I mean, you know, Josh Gasser and Bruzewitz, um, you know, Jarmus, you know, those guys are good players. They're very good players and they're great in their system. Um, you know, today wasn't their day. Um, but when those guys are making some shots and clicking to go along with Lure and, and Jordan Taylor and Nankoville, um, they can beat anybody in the country. One more. Matt, uh, you talked last week about your seniors dreaming big. Yeah. With the win tonight, do you still dream about a Big Ten regular season title? Is that something to think about now and talk about? Well, sure. That's what you, you know, you, we keep talking about it until we're mathematically eliminated. And, uh, you know, you don't put in all that work not to continue to dream and, and you know, want to win a championship. I, I think it's, it works for you if you can, can keep competing and work in that direction. We were able to do this last year um, because the longer you can compete for a championship, obviously if you do, you're going to put yourself in a great situation for the NCAA tournament. So they know how it ties together. And that's what's important, putting yourself in the best possible situation. Sure, you want to win a Big Ten championship. Everybody in our league does. But you want to put yourself in the best possible position come NCAA tournament time.
Thank you. Thank you.